Major Frenchie. Today we are looking at Freezy. What is Freezy? It is a better alternative for your DMD. It improves the quality and it supports different tables. Stay tuned. video today is going to be a bit geeky, so you guys going to have to pay attention because we're going to play in the registry, in the Windows registry, to look at the default for the location of the DMD. So this can be useful for many different purposes, but we were going to show you um, how the registry sets the position for the screens for, let's say, uh, Visual Pinball. And VPIN MAME actually uses the uh, the default registry and I'm going to launch attack from Mars so you see on the play field right here there's our DMD okay couple of things in your in your setup you can set globally for all tables okay uh, to do this what you need to do is you go in your Visual Pinball, you go in VPIN name, and you click on Setup. You've probably seen that screen before. Uh, what it is, this is basically the default setup for every tables in VPIN name. Okay, so if you go to uh, Setup Defaults right here, here are the options that will apply to every tables. So for example, if you want, if your DMD doesn't stay in place that's probably because you don't have the cabinet mode checked so make sure you have the cabinet mode checked and um, if you want color for your DMD click that color DMD right here so that will apply for every tables and once you're done you click OK quit now that setup now is is global now what I want to show you is let's say we leave it here okay and then I'm we're gonna go what we're going to do is we're going to click on the start menu and you're going to type REG EDIT and press enter and you're going to see that this weird thing is going to is going to appear on your screen now this is the registry editor now this is a very powerful and dangerous tool guys don't change like Windows values or whatnot because you may make your system uh, unbootable okay just change the values that we're telling you and then you should be set so what you need to do is you need to click that drop down for the current user you're gonna click on software then you're gonna click on freeware right here then visual pin main now these are all the, the settings for the different tables. These are the ROMs. So this is Attack from Mars 113B. See? So if you go on the right side here, what you want is the DMD. Okay, so see it, it says that the entry says DMD. Um, we're gonna need the height. So you see right here the the height is 84. Then we have the width it says 259 so what I want to show you is that I'm just going to resize this to a much bigger value and we're just gonna click out of it and back into it and we're gonna go back to the DMD height Look, the height now is 296, and the width is 833. So it changes on the fly, right? Going to set the default value, and you want all tables to kind of take the same settings. Now, if you delete all the tables, and then you relaunch the table, since it has no values assigned to it, it will pick the default value. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this in the right position that I want
And then if you set your back glass uh, black, then you will you won't see the the space, right? Just make sure that when you're standing out front, you see all the different characters of your DMD. So that's good. So I'm going to set this. Okay. Now, this is the, if I click back on AFM 113B, if I go to my DMD, okay, so we have the height right here, 385 by 1234. So this is the width for my setup, the X and the Y. So you're gonna see it, position X, see it's 2038, position Y, 1045. So you're gonna need to copy the proper spelling of each key, and we're gonna have to create new keys in the default folder. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these values in the notepad document, just so it's easy to get our reference. If you double click, what you can do is you can right click, copy, and then put that right here. DMD height and the value, the value is 181, but it's in hex. Click on decimal. It, I think it's easier, uh, you know, so you know that the, the width is 385, position X, position Y, we got that, and then it's 1045. Don't forget to check the proper value, decimal, it's important, otherwise your screen's gonna be out of whack. Like this, and we have the DMD width. Like that, and decimal 1234. Okay, okay. See how it's it's out of whack. It's just not where it's supposed to be. Okay, but on the other hand, if we start attack from Mars, it just entered the value in that table in the registry. See, so now what we need to do though, we need to have a default so every tables are gonna take that value. We are going to go back in the registry that we had opened, okay? Now what we want is all the other tables, we're gonna delete the keys. So these are just not the tables, they're just the, the registry keys, okay? Um, we're gonna delete that, and we're going to delete Terminator, and that's it. So all we have is these values here. What we need to do is we need to go in the default right here and add the values that we had in our test table uh, attack from Mars we have the right values that we copied in the text file now we need to copy those in this default folder right here all you do is you go in the default folder you right click on the right you're gonna click new and you're going to uh, create a 32-bit value it says D word so you're gonna click on that and then the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna click DMD height. You need to right click, rename, paste the value, and then double click open, and then we're gonna click on decimal, and then we're gonna pick 385, click okay. Then we're going to copy the DMD position X, and then we're gonna do the same, right click, new, DWAR32, we're gonna paste the name, we're gonna open it up, and then we're gonna click on decimal, and then we're gonna put 2038. All right, next one is the position Y. Right click, copy. We're gonna right click, new, D word. And this is 10845. And finally, DMD width. New. And then we're gonna, it's one, two, three, four. How convenient. And again, click decimal. See, it, it pasted the wrong value. One, two, three, four, decimal. Click OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to close the registry editor. So let's just launch Indiana Jones and see if the DMDs at the right position. 
And as you can see, it is just perfect for our screen. It's exactly like we've set it in Attack from Mars. Now, every table that you're gonna install on this system will take advantage of this. So what you will need is you click on the link. We'll have the link in the description below for Freezy. And uh, what you will do is you will click on that GitHub. You can follow the link. Um, it's for their Facebook page, which is this one right here. Download the x86, okay? So you need to right click, extract, and you're gonna get all these files. Then we go in Visual Pinball, and then you right click, and then you paste. So if you're using Pinup Popper, Terry Red wrote a nice little uh, release guide and it tells you what you need to change on in what file if you're using Pinup Popper, okay? Now the next thing we need to do is we need to enable that DLL file, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to click the setup.exe in your vpin name folder. And then you're going to click on the setup defaults. And then what you want is use the external DMD DLL. Check that. Okay, click OK. When you launch the table, you will have two DMDs. Okay, so guys, now we have a Monster Bash loaded. We have the two DMD to compare. And uh, you're going to see that, uh, well, the uh, images are as much sharper, the one on the top. See, there's no dots. It's not pixelated, so it, it's it's a great add-on. Welcome to the Monster Bash. I'm scared. Of you. See, the one on the top is way sharper. That's it, guys. So that's how we install Freezy. It's uh, actually going to make your image, like the DMD image, way sharper. And I think you're going to enjoy that. The reason we also kind of spending time, not only it looks better, but in our upcoming series, which is going to be about pinup popper, you guys asked for it, so we're going to do one. And then, are we ever glad that we've discovered this? Somebody from the, actually our audience mentioned that, said, Hey, Pinball X sucks. Just have a look at Pinup Popper. Thank you very much uh, for, for that comment because, man, were you ever right about this? And uh, to, in order to run Pinup Popper, we need Freezy. So that's why we decided to kind of do it in that order. And you guys are now familiar with Freezy, and we hope you enjoy that. Guys, if you like what we do, uh, we have actually a PayPal donation. Just donate whatever you want. We have a premium channel, which has, uh, like, behind the scene, extra videos that are never been published. You're supporting us, and also you will get our videos ahead of everybody else. And a one-in-one -one chat. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Hey,